Last night was dreadful. The sound of thunder kept me up for hours, but today's another day, I guess. Let's just hope that it's at least a bit better. <sighs> Unfortunately, there is no tasty homemade breakfast awaiting me. Ever since my parents' divorce, I've been living off of whatever I find in the kitchen. I live with my mom, but she's always taking business trips abroad. So, for the most part, it's pretty much just me at home. It's lonely, but I manage. Although, I do miss the smell of bacon and eggs in the morning. Breakfast used to be a family thing. Dad would read the newspaper at the kitchen table while Mom would stand at the stove and fry up her famous sunny side up eggs. But all that feels like a long forgotten memory. Well, at least breakfast is sorted. Not exactly the best start to the day, but it'll do. I do my own shopping since mom's never home, but I usually stick to buying the bare necessities. The ease of using pre-made stuff has pretty much sapped me of the urge to cook meals for myself. And with my food quickly finished, I head for the door. At the very least, the weather looks much better than yesterday's. Clear skies beat thunderstorms any day of the week. I'm still lost in thought when I notice a familiar face. It's Sayori. We have quite the history together. As children, we were basically inseparable. Always exploring, getting up to mischief, driving our parents wild. <laughs> Typical things that young children do, really. As time went on, especially in recent years, we started slowly drifting apart. In fact, I haven't properly spoken to her in a long time. It's a real shame. After all, we shared a lot of fond memories of each other. I'm surprised to see her up so early though. A couple of times I've glanced out the classroom window, only to see her hurriedly walking along to school. We used to walk to school together, and although she was sometimes a little late to meet me, I never really minded. As we continued to drift apart, however, her lack of punctuality became more frequent and I just decided to be better if I walked to school alone. Which meant that although I did get to school on time more often, it was quite lonely. Knowing her, she probably just got in more and more lazy with time. After all, her dedication to sleeping in seems to be unwavering. Oh well, I've always enjoyed talking to her. Hey, Sayori! I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Oh, hey. I wasn't expecting to see you. <laughs> that makes two of us. You're up early today. <laughs> Right though, not a whole lot has changed recently, you know? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Life has been pretty routine these days. School's kind of... meh, although I guess it could be worse. Although I can talk to her just fine, there's still an awkward air between us. I guess that's a given, seeing as this is our first proper conversation in a long time. As we carry on making idle small talk, a sudden thought hits me. Anyway, this might come across as a bit... out of the blue, but... Seeing you here has given me an idea. Oh? Well, it's been a while since we've walked to school together. How about we start doing that again? Would you really want to do that? I'm not very fun to talk to, and I'm always late. It's really strange to hear Sayori say this, given I've always known her to have a bubbly, cheerful personality. Sayori, that's definitely not true. Well, the bit about always being late is true. I've always loved hanging out with you, and I think we'd have a lot of fun again. Besides, I've missed you. I'll even help you wake up on time if you need me to. Was that a bit too forward? I don't know. I've never been in this type of situation before. I mean, we are childhood friends after all, right? Really? Yeah, really. I've missed you too. Well, let's do it then. From now on, we'll walk to school together, okay? Okay! All the memories I have of us together as children feature that smile. 
No matter where we ventured, parks, playgrounds, forests, that smile would follow. That innocent, childlike sense of adventure we used to have, it's painfully clear that that's long gone. But maybe we can still smile together anyway. So, what have you been up to lately? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Hmm, you mean games, anime, and manga, right? Yup, <laughs> it pretty much goes without saying. You haven't changed. <laughs> Are you saying that you think I need some change? No one's perfect. Uh, there's always room for some improvement. Especially in your case. <laughs> I'm guessing that you're still part of the Go Home Club? Hey, that cuts a little deep. What do you want me to do? Join the soccer club and trip over everyone? Well, I think a little exercise is good for anyone. I'm very offended if you're trying to call me fat right now. <laughs> well, you don't have to join a sports club if you don't want to. Yeah, I was actually thinking of checking out the- Anime club? Wow, how'd you guess? It does suit my hobbies though, so... You should try branching out a bit more. Okay, Miss Club Expert. If you're gonna criticize all my club choices, what would you suggest? Well, it just so happens that there's this club that I'm in. Oh, really? Yeah! I'm actually the vice president. Wow, I did not expect that. Dang, so you get to take part in all the executive decisions, huh? <laughs> uh, kind of. The club kind of only has four members at the moment, but but it's really fun. We're actually looking for new members right now. Ah, so that's why she brought it up. Only four members? It sounds like you guys are just starting out then. What club is it anyways? It's the school's very own literature club! <sighs> In my defense, literature has never quite captured my interests. Unless you count manga as literature, that is. I knew it. You don't want to join. I understand, though. Not many people like reading. Hey, who said I didn't like to read? I love reading. If you count, uh, manga. <laughs> you sound like someone I know from the literature club. She actually talks about manga all the time. Oh, really? I am actually interested in your club, though. If I'm looking for a club to join, I guess the literature club is as good a place as any to start. That's great! You should come by sometime. And by sometimes, you're hoping for today, aren't you? <laughs> the sooner the better. Alright, I'll have a look after school today. Yay! Thanks! Although, we should probably hurry up. Don't want to be late now, do we? Yeah, you're right.